Greetings, this is the Questing GM. Today is day two for RPG a day 2021. The word of the day is map. I have never really used maps in my games. Don't get me wrong, while there are as many talented cartographers as there are artists and writers in the hobby, I have mostly seen maps as extra handouts to be given to players, but never a necessary part of the games that I've run. However, I've started to think about the potential of maps in games, not just as a handout, but as a tool that could be central to how I could play or run games around them. So here are a few ways I think a map can be crucial. First, a map is essentially a visualization tool. That may sound pretty obvious, but I may have underestimated how useful a map can be during play. When in a campaign that has taken place over many locations, over a span that could run from feet to yards and miles. Sometimes it might be easy to forget how far and wide the characters have traveled in their adventures. A map is a good visualization tool to demonstrate that. A powerful element of a map is scale, and it being a collection of places where the characters have or have not been before shows how far they have come and gone. Sometimes when a character wishes to go or revisit a place, it is simply easier to point to it on a map rather than remembering its name or exact location. When looking for a place on the map, it also helps to narrow the player's focus because they may naturally not want to go to a location outside of the map as an option. Maps can also be a motivational tool for players. This is especially true for games centered around exploration like a West Marches style campaign or Forbidden Lands. When exploration is the reward, the expansion and charting of new areas being added to the map becomes a tracker of sorts of the achievements and the adventures the characters have been through. As they continue to be motivated to expand the horizons on their map, a map provides a different kind of reward that money cannot buy. A map of the entire area of operation can also motivate players differently. In a game of conquest or taking control of different parts of the map, albeit wards or districts in the city or kingdoms, the map becomes a tracker of their progress and an indicator of what to do next. Showing the entire map helps players to know what their boundaries are and focus on what's at hand rather than what's outside the map. Lastly, a map can also be a useful planning tool. Knowing where the characters are and its immediate surroundings helps to narrow down what needs to be prepared for the foreseeable sessions. You don't have to worry about what's at the mountain range miles away when the characters are still at the center of the valley and there's a burial mound that they may want to explore in the nearby hills. You could also plan your sessions based on the empty spaces in the map, imagining what sort of possibilities currently outside the view of the player's map and being able to see how they could be connected. Maps can be the start of a campaign or the star of a campaign. It only just needs to have a good map. That's all my thoughts on map. Comment below if you have your own ideas of how you use maps. If you would like to participate in RPG A Day 2021, you can refer to the links in the description. Or you can use the tag RPG A Day 2021 to find more RPG A Day content. So this is the Questing GM for now, and I'll see you on day 3.